Hey guys, this is Eternal Evolution and welcome to Gameplay Horizon. So, today we will challenge some PvE battles or boss fights in which I will be using here uh, EX-10. Okay, this would be Arcadia only at Mythic 2. And uh, the equipment of this, that would be the burst set. So, I only borrowed uh, the burst set, guys, from uh, my energy hero. So, uh, currently, this Arcadia has this uh, set that would be the Unleashed set. So, I'll just uh, borrow here this uh, burst set in order for this arcade to work in a boss fight so i have here also ex30 riceres and uh, this is already at awakened 2 and ex30 if we'll take a look that is already uh, at awakened 2 and uh, i'm trying to make this to awakened 3 and the equipment of this that would be okay this is only uh some uh, unleashed uh, legendary set guys and next that would be okay this will be the uh rebecca so our rebecca here is only at the uh, ex 22 and the equipment of this is uh, the ambitious set so mainly this would be the uh gears for my uh riceres guys but i transferred it to this uh, rebecca and next uh, we have here vasaris guys and this uh, vasaris is already at the uh, ex 30 and if you will check here the equipment, uh, this is the Marauder set and the attack speed that would be plus uh, 300. And take note, wow, I risk here for this plus 200 uh, boots or attack speed boots with crit rate that is plus 3. And we have here also some crit damage plus 3. And this would be crit rate and attack. And I borrowed these guys from my assassins. So guys, so we will challenge here the uh, Molten Abyss. In which uh, I already defeated this, but when I retry, I could not defeat it anymore. Maybe that was uh, due to the RNG. I don't know. So uh, today we will uh, evolve this uh, Arcadia, guys. My Arcadia here is only at uh, EX10. And this is an, a, a Mythic 2 Arcadia. So we will evolve this to something like maybe a Legendary. Okay. okay let's press confirm. Okay, and then we will use this one. Okay, that would be legendary now. And can we already uh, increase the exclusive equipment? Okay, it needs to be a star one. So let's uh, roll that again. Okay. Nice. And okay. Okay, this is a legendary to Arcadia already. So our uh, let's activate this guys. I really need this Arcadia guys for my hunter team. So uh this is not a waste. Okay. And uh, make this exclusive equipment to PX uh, twenty. Nice. I think uh, this might be good. So uh, we have now an EX20 uh, Arcadia and uh, we will challenge here the... Uh, okay, that would be this Molten Abyss. So this is uh, level 14. So if we will check here, let's uh, go first with this uh, Hunters. So we have your EX30 Vasares just to double check it again. And we have your EX22 Rebecca. And... Uh, Riceris EX30. Then we have your Arcadia EX20. So I am using here uh, this Asori Medallion. And uh, some uh, red prototypes here. And it would be best to use uh, Revitalization Crystal. And then I would suggest guys uh, to get this one. This is a stat boost. Uh, plus 7% uh, crit rate on Hunters. This will help you a lot. And on this... Uh, Team, second team that would be assassins still i would suggest guys get this one assassins uh create rate stat boost and on uh, this uh tank team i'm using here a grid type tanks so uh okay i think uh, that might be good so let's challenge this guys okay you have your crit type carabine and let's use here some so what we are dealing here are hunters, so let's use Dominate. I think a Dominate prototype might be good. Okay, let's challenge this and let's use Max. Okay. So, uh, 
this would be in uh, auto battle and i would suggest guys uh, for uh, players who are uh, challenging this uh, molten abyss uh, may, maybe on stage uh, 12 13 and 14 i would suggest you use uh, critical type heroes like a uh, critical type tanks because uh it is more uh decent to use and uh, critical type uh heroes have high damage compared to just to the to this uh, non-type critical uh, heroes guys or non-type critical build so it doesn't matter if uh, you have a low crit rate and the sweet spot may be something like 60 percent that will be the best uh crit build guys so this is not an event you will only increase your crit rate on event guys for high damage but uh, currently i use here somehow like a 60 percent on my tanks because uh, i'm quite lazy to uh, rebuild this okay so that would take uh how many uh, seconds did we reach one minute okay that would be uh, almost one minute guys oh, my god so if you will lower that uh boss time attack or uh, pv PVE time attack you should uh, build or increase your crit rate so this would be the assassins okay so take a look at that Taeyeon guys this uh, Taeyeon now is using uh, plus 60% uh, crit damage gloves so I will be using this Taeyeon in this uh, ascension arena and let's see if that uh, crit damage gloves works best over crit rate gloves nice nice okay that was uh, pretty fast guys let me take a look at that uh, i hope uh, the game will also uh, awaken bota seems like the most useless support is bota right now my goodness and uh, okay we are now at the hunter team okay so uh purinisaki here will buff vazares and not uh, Rebecca. Most of the time, uh, Purinisaki buff Rebecca. But on my case, it would be on Bazares, guys. Okay, that's a uh, 92%. So I have here the indication. If, for example, if uh, this time here reach around somehow like two minutes, the HP of the boss should be at a 66% uh, or below. So if the HP of the boss is somehow above 66%, then most probably you cannot defeat the boss, guys. So that is the indication or the first indication. And the second indication would be if the time remaining here is uh, one minute, the HP of the boss should be at 33% or below. And if it is above 33%, then you cannot defeat the boss, guys. So we are currently at 73% and... We have your two minutes and time and eight seconds remaining and this should be at least 66 percent when this hits to two minutes okay so we have 67 okay 66 at okay 64 at two, two minutes time remaining so that is the indication that we can now defeat this boss guys i am 100 percent sure okay so we have 60 percent at one minute and 50 seconds remaining so this is somehow somehow like uh, we are on the uh, passing grade. <laughs> so if the passing grade is a uh, 50, then we are at 51. <laughs> so that is the uh, rating for my team. 51. And the passing grade is 50%. Okay. okay that's uh, 47, 46. And we are uh, approaching to 1 minute and 30 seconds. And... I am confident that we can defeat this, guys. I already defeated this using EX10 Arcadia, but when I retry around maybe 10 times, I could not defeat this anymore. So maybe I should uh, make that Arcadia 2 EX20, and maybe next week, I hope I could get some gene hybrids, and I will prioritize that Arcadia before prioritizing the new hero. I was expecting the new hero that would be a Terran support in relation to Theon. I think uh, the new support hero will be somehow like Fiona. That is my prediction, guys. Um, a skill that somehow like a Fiona that 
uh, can cast some uh, immunity or damage immunity and uh, she will be or he will be a Terran support hero so that Aeon will be uh, used in PvP or in some other game modes because uh, currently uh, it is not possible to use a 4 Terran hero team guys okay now we are now at 12% uh, and we have still a lot of time remaining so if you have uh, something like uh, Artemis EX0 Artemis maybe you can defeat this boss so thank you for watching guys and uh, I hope you have learned something from my video and don't forget to uh, subscribe and like this video and uh, see you again next time. And I'm sorry for my English. I'm not a na native speaker of uh, the English uh, language. So until next time, see you then. Bye-bye.